This is Ark Bolton's Anti-Bullying Campaign 2020. At Ark Bolton Academy, we say no to bullying and pledge to get rid of it in our school. Here are some messages from some familiar faces that remind you about why bullying shouldn't exist at Ark Bolton or in any school. Everyone has a unique and beautiful personality. At Ark Bolton, we learn how to be compassionate and kind to everyone. This will be celebrated in our Odd Socks Day on Monday the 13th of November. Because being unique is beautiful. At Hart Bolton, we practice the virtues of compassion, courage, justice and honesty in the way that we conduct ourselves and in the way in which we treat others. We build respectful relationships with others regardless of our many differences. We want our Bolton students to make a positive contribution as members of society and become anti-bullying representatives in the community. Our Bolton is an anti-bullying school, which means that we will never allow bullying to happen in our school. This means that we need you to take a pledge to keep our Bolton as an anti-bullying school. We need you to practice virtuous behaviour so that you are always compassionate about others. That means you exhibit care and concern for others, and you are called to action to do something if you see someone suffering. Bullying means repeatedly using force to threaten, abuse or aggressively dominate someone. It is the repetitive, intentional hurting of one person or a group by another person or a group. It is where the relationship has an imbalance of power. Bullying can be physical, verbal or psychological. It can happen face to face and online. Bullying usually happens when a ringleader leads on the bullying behaviour, always picking on a target. Alongside the ringleader, there is usually a group of people called reinforcers who may not bully directly, but they gather others to see what is happening. They may laugh along with the ringleader, giving encouragement. They are just as much in the wrong as the bully. Ark Bolton is an anti-bullying school, and that's because bullying can have long-lasting effects into adulthood. It's a sad fact that around 17% of young people had been bullied in the UK last year alone. At Art Bolton, we have the courage to stand up to bullying by reporting it when it happens to us or when it happens to anyone we know. Courage means acting with bravery in fearful situations. You may be the only one telling a teacher when a joke has gone too far or if someone is being treated really badly. You are doing the courageous thing when you stand up to bullying. There are some people who defend victims of bullying. We call them defenders. These people stand up for someone being bullied because they know that bullying is wrong and they are confident to do something about it. A defender provides friendship to a target of bullying and encouragement to say no to the bully. A defender tells an adult, such as a teacher, so that bullying can be stopped. We should all be defenders if we spot bullying or unkind behaviour. We should practice the virtue of compassion to end the suffering of the person who is targeted by reporting the bullying the effects of bullying can be long-lasting and sometimes prove to be with fatal consequences. Online bullying is a police matter. We all have the right to stop, block and report online abuse or bullying and report it with the police who will be in touch with the bullies. Any reports of bullying will be investigated fully and the bullies could face having an exclusion on the school record which will affect them when applying for option subjects or colleagues in the future. The effects of bullying are sometimes harrowing. There have been cases where people have been so upset they just can't go on and end up harming themselves or committing suicide. I'm speaking from my experience as a mother. When my son James started primary school at the age of five, he started out a happy, a happy boy, skipping to school, looking forward to the day. But very soon, he became withdrawn. He didn't want to go to school. He kept making excuses, saying he felt ill. One night, when I tucked him up in bed, he said the words, Mummy, I don't want to be in life anymore. That was a heartbreaking thing to hear as a mother. He was being teased and bullied at school because of his appearance. He had ears that stuck out. Eventually he went under 
several hours of surgery, which was very traumatic for a five-year-old. Some 30 years later, those words still haunt me and I still feel the tears when I think about how he was so, so unhappy at such an early age because of bullying. That is why I am anti-bullying and that is why I do everything I can to help the victims and the bullies too. One example is when someone posts a TikTok video and others screenshot it and share it on WhatsApp and lots of people make unkind comments about it. This is bullying because it's intentional and it's hurtful. If this happens repeatedly, it is bullying. But even if it happens just once, this kind of thing will be taken very seriously to protect anyone from getting hurt or upset. Another example is when someone walks into a room and other people start giggling or whispering to each other. This is bullying. It's repetitive, hurtful and it involves an imbalance of power, even though it may not be intentional. This will be taken very seriously to protect anyone from getting hurt or upset. Which category of people do you fall into? Are you a bully, a ringleader? Are you a reinforcer who supports bullying by laughing along and encouraging a bully to carry on bullying? Are you a defender who stands up for someone who is bullied and lets the teacher know? Or are you a bystander who ignores bullying and doesn't get involved? Being a bystander is someone who stands and watches the bullying happen. Don't be a bystander. Be active and proactive and make sure bullying does not happen at your academy. So what do you do if you see or hear or read about someone who is being bullied? If you think the behaviour is unkind, be brave and tell a teacher immediately. The teacher will find out what is happening so that no one is upset or suffering. We will all support you. So what do you do if you're a target of bullying? Remember that bullying can be physical, verbal or psychological. It can happen face to face or online. If you are feeling upset because the same people keep hurting you or are being unkind, be brave and tell a teacher immediately. We will all support you. Bullying has a long-lasting effect on those who experience and witness it, but by channeling our collective power through practising virtues of compassion, courage, justice and honesty, we can reduce bullying together. Parents and carers, teachers and politicians, children and young people, we all have a part to play in coming together to make a difference to stop bullying from happening. Our role as an anti-bullying school is to build compassionate relationships with those around us, regardless of our many differences, because being unique is beautiful.